see the start of the new season more clearly with Sports Eyewear from Norval Opticians. Well, Tom, we haven't seen much of you this year. For those that can't remember, why is that? Um, so at the start of the season, I had a calf uh, injury, um, so that sort of kept me out of the squad for a while. Um, and then just coming back now, sort of trying to get so, as much game time as I can. Have you almost had to do a, a second pre-season, if you like? Um, yeah, so like every time you get injured, the rehab is always harder than the actual training. So yeah, it was sort of like a second pre-season for me. Um, but feeling fit and healthy now and looking forward to kicking on. Is it an irritation, if you like, that you've come to a new club and you haven't been able to hit the ground running from, from the first day, which I'm sure is what you wanted to do? Yeah, it's obviously frustrating. You go to a new club and you want to try and make an impression um, and try and show the coaches what you can do. And if you do have an injury, it does obviously limit your sort of time on the pitch and the coaches can't see what, you, what you're capable of. So, yeah, it has been frustrating, but um, looking forward to sort of making an impression now. So I've got a chance this weekend and kick on from there. And given that Jeremy and Mariano and, and Tom Savage have all been playing pretty well, the, the competition in the second row is, 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 is pretty hot anyway, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a great uh, group of second rows here and we're all sort of pushing each other on. I think that's really healthy for the club to have that competition because each player is pushing each other on and it, it does make uh, you better as a player. Given your experience though, on Saturday it's not just about you and how you play, there's an element of leadership in here too though, isn't there? Yeah, so like as a sort of, I don't know if you call myself a senior player, but I'm leading the line out and I've got to sort of make sure that the game plan goes as we've uh, practised all week and try and impose ourselves on the game. And when it comes to steering the younger players, is it, is it almost, um, from your perspective, trying to make them go with, with the go with the script and not be too excitable because playing at King's Home for a young player is an exciting occasion. Yeah, so you just sort of try and remind them to focus on the process and um, like in terms of my role calling the line outs, it's just having clear calls for the lads just to focus on, not worry about anything else, just that one job um, and then move on to the next one each time. So yeah, you just sort of try and let, get the lads to focus in on that one process and then sort of move on from there. How how big would a, a 60 minutes or an 80 minutes be for you, given the injury you've been through this season and when you had a, just a, a couple of appearances off the bench so far? Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it. Like I feel fit. I played a few of the 18 games, um, got some good minutes in there, so feeling fit and uh, looking forward to getting sort of 60 to 80 minutes, like you say, at the weekend. You may have seen some footage of the Dragons game against Newcastle, which finished in a in a paddy field almost on, on Sunday. We're hoping the conditions will be a bit drier. Yeah, we hope so. Um, I did actually see that game against Newcastle. Um, so, I mean, who knows what the weather's going to be doing. Um, obviously, at this time of year, pitches are cutting up a bit more. Um, so, I mean, we've, we've got a game plan to uh, work around that. And, uh, yeah, we sort of try not to think about that um, and just focus on the process, really.